Yeah, this one is it's one that I like uh, the the term multiplication. Uh, we are talking this morning. Uh, we we were talking about this. This is something that people uh, like to say. Uh, if I do something the first week at, at nursery uh, and then I increase some grams or one kilogram in the end of the first uh, week of nursery, I will uh, multiply or add this weight to the end. But there's a lot of uh, uh, nice data with Dr. Mike Ellis. Uh, when, when, they do, when they did some uh, increase the, the feeder space in the nursery, but not in the finishing phase, and when they put these pigs together in the finishing phase, the advantage of body weight that they 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 reach in the in the nursery, uh, it, it doesn't keep in the in the in the in the finishing phase. So so there's kind of a biological programming of the pigs. So maybe you you can uh, multiply with the genetic facts. Like uh, if the pig uh, has a, a a a higher birth weight, there's a a, a you increase the chance to have a uh, heavier pig in, in, at weaning, at the end of the nursery and at market. But people used to, uh, to do this mistake, think that uh, some timely intervention, like in the first uh, couple weeks of nursery, will improve the, the performance and then this improvement will keep going uh, until the end of the market. So this is the, so, something that, uh, that we confound when we think about this, this topic. Your yeah. thoughts, Marcio? Yeah, it's a good one. I mean, you see almost every month, you see somewhere in the internet that says something about that, right? Hey, you know, you see something about, yeah, one, one pound here is two pounds there or whatever. And I mean, people, uh, I think we as humans, we, we like, um, we use two analogies and, and we, we make them to be true. Like, for example, one example I, I like to use is Yes, the, if a pig is from a, just a normal population that you didn't uh, in, interfere on that population, it's heavier because, you know, some pigs, pigs are going to be heavier from a genetic standpoint. Um, yes, a heavy birth weight pig is going to perform better. Everyone knows that. But don't confuse that with if I come here and I give a little more feed, we're talking about feed in late gestation. Some studies in the past used to see a little bit, just a little bit like 20 grams, uh, 1% improvement in, in birth weight. Um, okay, well now uh, this pig is gonna perform better. Well, it's not necessarily, we don't have this data actually, but my theory is likely related, this, that change in birth weight of the baby pigs, likely related to starch, in the muscle and in the liver. So it's a little heavier, which he might just burn that in the first hour after weaning, I'm sorry, after birth. So you see where we start connecting the dots, sometimes things don't, don't want, uh, may, may not be related. So that, so what we like to say, it, it multiplies when it's inherited, inherited to the pig. Uh, when, I mean, like Jamil said, Dr. Ellis did a bunch of studies there, early 2000s, where they gave milk replacers for a few weeks in the lactation room. But uh, another study was in the after weaning. They perform much, much better, the pigs, but it doesn't, it doesn't continue all the way uh, to the market. Yeah, there's, there's another one that they accelerate the, the, the weight gain in the first weeks in the nursery. Yeah, in the end of the, the, the day uh, 14, they are heavier. But then, in the end of the in the market, they 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 have the same weight. And, and can you can you can you show us the sentence of this topic, Marcio? Oh yeah. This is this is something really interesting. The biggest factor is survivability. A live pig is a live pig. So if you are doing some kind of intervention, you should focus more on survivability than improve the 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 average daily gain during one week or two weeks. This is there's a lot of uh, uh, examples. Of, of this kind of trials using antibiotics also. During the antibiotic intervention in the feed, pigs perform better, but when you take out from, from the diet, uh, when you see the market way, it's completely the same. And uh, talking about winning age, Dr. Roger Main found, uh, uh, found difference, uh, like the, the winning age can multiply, but we run a trial in Brazil with uh, a winning age above 21 days, and when the pigs have the same uh, lifetime age, they perform the same. They have the same weight. So it doesn't matter when, uh, uh, when you win the pig or, or, or what is the age at, at 
winning at the same age in the market they they have the same body weight but i'm talking about body weight but survivability is different so of course the the oldest one they they survive more this is a, a pretty interesting topic martin yes and, and there's a lot of things that go come along here you've seen some of the studies uh how many diets should i have in the finishing phases uh Mar mariana menegat did that um and uh, that's one example you know there's some studies from australia there one diet we are not recommending this especially because in australia they have lighter weight at market but us you know with people talk about two diets three diets three diets fairly comfortable there in the finishing period but what happens on the example of the one diet is that the pig is somewhat deficient in lysine, quite a bit deficient in lysine early uh, finishing, but then late finishing, uh, he catches catch up uh, uh, very often.